Good evening, and welcome to our Sip and See event. I am so excited that you are here, whether you're joining us live or online, to listen to some stories about health, wellness, and vitality. My name is Adriana, or AKA Mama Bell, and I'm a Plexus Ambassador. I am excited to share with you a little bit about my story and also my co-host, Aaron Harrison, who is also a Plexus Ambassador. So let's get started. I started with Plexus in 2016 after Aaron Harrison and I reunited in a conversation over the phone about what has happened to me in the past four years of my life. Prior to that time, I've known Aaron for about 10, and we had a season where it was a bit dry in our conversation. Prior to that time, Aaron and I had spoken regarding a situation she will be sharing with you this evening in her testimony about how ill she actually was. And I know from what I hear from her of the, the, the trauma that she went through physically, which you will be just in awe when you hear her testimony on how she came from death to life, really. She introduced me to Plexus back again in 2016 after hearing my story about what happened to us as a family. I won't go into too much detail about it. I'll keep that for later. But for right now, let me just share what's happening with me. She, and an angel, I would say, actually she, I'm just going to say this, she actually sponsored me for three months of being on Plexus between the months of January till April. She had sponsored me. She paid for my membership fee because she really believed that this product would do me a tremendous amount of good for my health. During that time, I was taking products. I was also self-diagnosing myself on what was going to be best for me. And nothing seemed to help, and financially, I wasn't really able to pr continue affording the program. She introduced me again to Plexus, and for three months, she sponsored me, paid for my product, and also encouraged me to share the product with others. Well, when she gave me my, my triplex, I was so excited about it that I couldn't keep it for myself that I ended up giving away. So by the first three months of being on the program, I wasn't even taking it faithfully myself. Let's fast forward to where we are now. For the month of May and June, my daughter and I have been splitting the Triplex program. I've been able to share with the product with people and create a strong downline. With that being said, I turned to be a silver ambassador and I was able to pay for my product each month and have some extra spending money, which in my family, that's gold. I'm very excited to know that this product will in time aid my body to be healthy. I may not be as a quick... Um, testimony of some that I've heard, but I know that my time will come. Right now I'm taking it faithfully each day, and I am seeing some small, minute effects in my body. One I am seeing is that I'm feeling a little bit more calmer throughout the day. I've noticed too that I'm getting a little bit more hungry, so for me with weight, weight gaining is a good thing. So I'm very excited about what this product can do, and I'm also excited about the business opportunity that Plexus does have, and we'll talk a little bit about that later on this evening. For right now, I want to introduce you to my friend Erin Harrison. She is a um, owner of Keeper of the Homestead, which is an online um, website that offers blogging tips from anywhere from gardening to making your own kefir, making your own kombucha, sauerkraut. She lives in Tennessee with her family of seven. I just adore Erin. She's a jewel in my personal crown here on earth, but I know that the father has many jewels in her crown when she spends time with him in eternity. I do believe that she has a heart to serve people. Money is not an intention with this business for her, but her testimony is so strong and so vivid and so real that it just creates a heart for her to help other people because of what she's been through herself. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored and I am blessed to call Erin Harrison my friend, and I would like to introduce you to Miss Erin Harrison this evening. It has literally changed my life. Um, I went from being bedridden. I had a surgical operation uh, procedure done in the year of 2009 because I had children right, you know, back to back, and my bladder had fallen out. So when the doctor was stitching up my bladder, he accidentally stitched through my right side sciatic nerve, which caused a neurological disease called reflex sympathetic dystrophy. Is everybody still there? We're yes. still here. Oh, good. 
<laughs> it was so quiet. I was like, oh, I hope I didn't lose everybody. But anyway, so um, when they had to go back in and take the stitch out, and when I woke up in the morning, my foot was twice the size, and I was paralyzed from the knee down. And they put me on many different medications. I was my husband in desperation because I was screaming day and night. The pain was worse than um, child labor or they say it's worse than amputation child labor. It's uh, the most painful disease that you can have called nicknamed the suicide disease because 75% of the people who um, get RSD, they end up um, committing suicide because they cannot stand the pain, the constant pain. And um, I lived like that for seven years. My husband, in the beginning, I wasn't used to the pain, so he didn't know what to do. He would carry me into the emergency rooms to get um, them to give me a Dilaudid shot, which is the strongest medication they can give you for trauma patients, uh, stronger than fentanyl or or, or morphine and all these things. So it was the only thing that would calm my nerve down for, I had to have two shots instead of just one for a grown man. So as you can see, I've had, um, you know, a lot of pain to deal with. They've given me multiple injections in my spine. They had put a a unit in my spine for the pain, like a $40,000 unit that they implanted in there to help um, interrupt the pain signals um, to try to get off the drugs. So, you know, I went through a lot of different procedures, even going down to Tijuana, Mexico, to get stem cell therapy. Um, I did whatever I could to get better because I was um, completely um, disabled. I, anytime I went out of my house, I had to use a wheelchair or a walker, and I really had no quality of life. Um, we had been eating a very organic, natural diet. So, you know, we had tried many different avenues, um, including um, tinctures, uh, different uh, meeting with different chiropractors, different homeopathic doctors, different naturopathic doctors. We sought out every different avenue of help that we could um, get our hands on them. We've had people donate money for us to try different things because everybody who knew me, including Adriana, knew that it was a very desperate situation and that um, these five little children at the time needed a mother to take care of them. And in the meanwhile, my husband also was suffering from Lyme disease. And my oldest son, who's now 17, and my husband could barely keep a job because, number one, I could not be left alone in a hospital bed screaming in pain with five little ones, so he had to quit working and take care of them, and B, because he was half the time, you know, he he would have, like, these really um, big symptoms, terrible symptoms for the Lyme disease, like blackouts and different, you know, um, sometimes seizures, and he had a lot of weakness and memory loss and just an overall brain fog and even intermittent aggression. He would be aggravated quite easily with whatever this Lyme disease was doing to his brain. So, um, and my daughter at the same time also um, came down with diabetes and she was very critical, like she was in the ICU the you know for about five days because her brain had swollen with encephalitis because we didn't know she was a diabetic and we had lots of complications even though we were giving her an organic raw diet and juicing and doing all the natural things she her diabetes was out of control and I think it was partly to do with the stress of having a mother not able to care for them and she had to help with a lot of the cooking and cleaning, and it was just a lot of burden on the kids, too. So um, when we heard about, when we heard about Plexus, I was, of course, very skeptical. Um, A friend of mine bought it for me for two months because she believed that it would, would help me, and I was very obstinate because I've tried everything else, so I thought, this is not going to, I can't even begin, you know, I just humored her and I took it and said, well, I'm just going to prove that it doesn't work. 
but it did. After a month, I was in remission, but at the same exact time, about a month later, my friend brought some doTERRA essential oil. Like, um, she got me onto the vitamins and some different oils and things. So at the time, I thought it was the doTERRA. I thought it was the, the oils that did it because I just couldn't see anything natural. As I thought about the pink drink, I thought it seemed like Kool-Aid. I didn't really pay any attention to the ingredients nor did I care. I just was trying to survive. So when I, w- I was in remission, I blamed it on the doTERRA because I felt like it was something I could trust in because it was all natural, you know, 100% pure um, therapeutic-grade oils. And so I started um, feeling amazing, and I thought that was what it had to be. So about a month, I went was still on plexus for a month while I was taking the oil. And then after I ran out of plexus, I quit taking it. And I kept taking the doTERRA essential oils. And it was about a month and a half to two months later, I went back out of remission. And I wasn't sure if it was from the oil. Like, I, I wasn't sure if it was because of the weather changing and getting into the cold, cooler climate that um, that was maybe attributing to it, but I didn't put two and two together until fast forward like a year and a half goes by and I'm totally bedridden, can't do anything again, in complete, utter agony and pain. Uh, That's when I wrote my book and started my blog because I was so depressed and I needed to find my joy in the Lord because it was like that was all I could do. So I started writing to to um, find my my place of peace and and find my purpose in Christ because I didn't really feel like I had any other purpose. So and I shared about all the things that I that He has taught me thus far and try to offer other people encouragement. And after that, I went. Um, I was talking with Shoshana who's the she owns the bulk herb store in Tennessee and she's kind of like a sister to me she had just gotten out of her her rehabilitation center that she was at for so many months um I think eight months in total trying to get a handle on her Lyme disease and it didn't work out well for her so somebody told her about plexus she started taking it and she became symptom-free from the just using the plexus. And so she started researching the ingredients. And when she found out that we were suffering so badly at our house, she came over in tears and just said that I had to. I didn't really have a choice. I had to get my husband on the plexus because she said it has specific enzymes that break through the biofilms that encase the, the Lyme disease spirochetes. And then this nerve stuff helps rebuild the nerves like in his brain so that he would um his nerves would work properly so she gave me a whole protocol to take with him we never i never considered taking it myself but i got my husband on it and we took it he took it consistently and after like two months i thought oh man this stuff isn't working for him maybe it just works for some people but not everybody so i was still pretty skeptical so then at that point mark's like no i need to keep going because Shoshana got better and I need to get better. He's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So he kept taking it and about the third or fourth month, he had his breakthrough and he was completely symptom free and he could live his life again and he could work full time and we had gotten Miles on it and Miles had a very quick turnaround, about a month. Because younger, the younger you are, the quicker your uh, nerves regenerate and the quicker you respond to treatment, like, you know, it's just the way it is, like with, um, because of the rate at which your body produces, you know, stem cells, you know, they're released at a more rapid rate the younger you are. So he um, really believed that it was the plexus that helped him, and I had still been taking doTERRA, so it wasn't until after that point, after Molly, my daughter, also got better with her diabetes. She had been in different points of kidney failure because she was 
she had a wheat allergy so bad and we didn't realize it that she was her kidneys were um, swelling they weren't they were allowing too much proteins to get passed through and we were talking about you know different um, options with the medical community like what we can do to help her whether it was to get her on more medications and so it was really a hard time but with the plexus she took a complete turnaround and A1Cs you cannot lie on those those are tests for accumulated blood glucose um, levels for like three months so she was at a 10 which is really bad even though we were feeding her an all raw organic diet like paleo every I mean we were really careful about what she was eating and no wheat no gluten no dairy and it was still 10 you know and she had been on that diet for like three years just so she could avoid the kidney medication and then plexus comes along and goes all the way down to a 6.4 I mean gradually like the first visit the first three-month visit went to 8.5 and then it went down to 7.2 and then it was to 6.4 which is better than normal A1C for a diabetic teenager. So that was, like, amazing. Like, I was just crying and thanking God. And then my husband's just like, you need to get on this stuff, too. I said, okay. So I got on it, and about a month later, sure enough, I went completely into remission, no pain, no swelling in my foot anymore, was able to move it around pretty freely, and I was also able to stand on my foot, whereas I couldn't stand on my foot for any more than five minutes. And so I really wanted to know why in the world this plexus stuff works for people because my situation was out of control. I, there was nothing I could do to get my health situation under control. So we ended up, I ended up, uh, you know, researching the ingredients and trying to find out what the deal was with it because, uh, that was the first time I took the time to do that because it was the first time I was, like, God knocked me upside the head and said, okay, this is something here that I'm going to use to help your family. So I um, found out that stress and pain, believe me, pain causes a lot of stress on the body because you're constantly, anytime you're stressed, your blood sugar rises. And then what happens is your your body, if you're not a diabetic, your body has to chemically keep that glucose stabilized. So it's going to shoot out insulin and cortisol from the adrenal glands to keep that blood sugar stabilized. And once I understood that, it just opened my mind to why I was so sick and why I had all these other problems like panic attacks and um, bowel issues, and why my daughter had food allergies, and why my husband was so sick, was because when when you your blood sugar your blood glucose is high, it causes adrenal fatigue, which also these these chemicals running through your body also feed candida, which resides in the gut, and it's supposed to be in the gut to break your body down when you die. But um, it also breaks down dead matter. So um, it feeds on sugar, and it also feeds on dead matter. So the the American diet is such that people are constantly eating dead food. So that also is a reason why candida can overgrow. And then the second reason is, um, you know, glucose or sugar, and that happens with poor diet. And it also happens with stress. So a lot of us health enthusiasts, which probably many of you here tonight are health enthusiasts, because if you're friends with the bells, you probably are part of the co-op and you you appreciate um, eating a healthy, well-balanced diet and organic and different things like that. So the the people like us wonder why we're so sick. Why are we so tired? Why is Adriana so underweight? Why is why do um, people have panic attacks? Why do we feel tired all the time? And the hidden reason is because we still have the candida overgrowth because we're still feeding it from the stressful lifestyle we have. And Adriana had a very tragic thing happen um, in her life. And so there was a lot of stress, a lot of trauma causes 
a ton of stress. So it throws your body right out of balance. And so a lot of people struggle with things like they lose a job or they get, you know, problems with their marriage or whatever have you. Um, the What happens because of it is um, this high, you know, sugar cortisol level. So it also feeds the candida, which overgrow, and it starts to feed on things like the inside walls of your intestines where it makes it permeable. So now there's like little spaces, they call it like little gaps, little holes, leaky gut syndrome, um, different ways you can explain that. But thing, little things start to leak out of the gut, like proteins. When those leak out, it causes inflammation and pain. So it, it tucks away around nerves and joints and creates, um, you know, it creates this inflammation that causes the pain for a lot of people. And then the, the next thing that happens is toxins leak out because what happens when you eat your food, you're supposed to eat the food, and the food is digesting, and there's little villi, like little finger-like um, structures inside of the intestines that are like little straws, and they suck the nutrients out of the food, and then the food exits the body as waste, like the what's not used by the body just becomes waste. But what happens when the candida is coating the lining of the gut, like it prevents the the villi from, you know, being able to draw the nutrients out of the food. So you're starved of nutrition. It doesn't matter if you eat all organic or all the right things your body's not going to be able to utilize those things. And also the things that leak out, if it's good food that leaks out, like, um, the, you know, the, the compounds of the food that you're eating, your body doesn't know how to process it where, when it's not in the bloodstream where it's supposed to be. So then it builds up antibodies to fight against the foreign material, which causes food sensitivities and food allergies. And that's why a lot of people have to be careful what they eat because their body starts attacking it whenever they eat it and they get a reaction from it. And then the other thing is toxins. When toxins leak out of the gut, the body has to protect itself from the harm of the toxins, so it enrobes the toxins in, in fat. So a lot of people end up overweight because of that because they're their body's just trying to survive. That's really what it is. Fat, a lot of times, it's visceral fat. It's unhealthy. It coats the organs. It it, um, it surrounds the fat, and and it's, it's very, very harmful for people. So what the SLIM does is it regulates that blood sugar so you're not feeding the, the bad organisms in the body. And B, you are... You know, the if you're controlling the, the blood sugars, it's also controlling hormones like your metabolism. So whether your metabolism is too high or too low, um, the sugar is the culprit for that. So when you regulate the sugars with the slim, because it has chromium, which comes from, like, the, the skin of the grape, that there goes in there and it helps to bring that sugar into a healthy level, which also regulates the other functions like your melatonin level, how you sleep at night. And then there's also the, uh, we talked about the metabolism, energy levels, the serotonin levels, your mood, your ability to focus. And um, so overall people have a feeling of well-being. I've never met anybody who takes it um, for several months and and doesn't feel amazing after taking it because it just clears your mind. You, you feel rested at night, and you feel energized during the day. And so um, it's not a weight loss product because it's it's meant to adjust those levels so that you're at a healthy weight. And then the, the ProBio5 has unique enzymes. There's a serapeptase in there that dissolves biofilms, like with the Lyme disease and different other bacteria get housed in biofilms to protect them you know, and they breed and multiply within the biofilms. But serapeptase, which comes from the intestines of a silkworm, and the the 
you know, it's it's what God designed so the uh, silkworm could dissolve its own cocoon made out of the strongest fiber known to man, which is silk. So it it uh, dissolves the proteins. So uh, serapeptase also takes down inflammation and also works on those biofilms. It's, it's like actually programmed by God to do that, which is really fascinating. And the other enzyme is called, um, that's in ProBio5, is called chitosanase. And chitosanase, chitosanase is the only enzyme that is created by God to break down the exoskeleton of the chitin, which is the exoskeleton of the candida organism. So it's able to break through that. So a lot of people say, well, I already take a probiotic. If your probiotic does not have enzymes, then you're wasting your money because you're not going to get rid of the bad bacteria because the bad bacteria will still be able to survive even though you're repopulating your gut. You have to have, um, you have to break down its, its walls of defenses. So, um, so anyway, that's, that's one of them. There's also another enzyme called protease, which, um, which breaks down the proteins that are, that you eat when you're digesting your food. It digests the proteins. And then the other is the, the cellulase, and cellulase is for um, breaking down that's the other enzyme that's in probio 5, and that's for breaking down the um, plants, like the fiber from, from eating plants or, you know, vegetables and things like that, and fruits and vegetables. So it has all these enzymes to help with digestion, and the way that it's um, formulated, it's, it's, you don't have to refrigerate it. So it, it actually activates it, the, the warmer the um like you put put it into your belly at 98.6 degrees it actually activates it so it gets the the good bacteria stays alive and it does its job right where it needs to um right where it needs to be it's it's gonna it i think they say a hundred percent of the bacteria survives whereas a lot of the other probiotics they they do not survive because they're they're designed to be in you know they need to be kept at cold temperatures and um so once they get into the guts they they burn right up and they can't get where they need to go and even if it's just probiotics it's not going to actually help long term because the enzymes are what really is needed to break the food down, break the proteins down, break the biofilms, and break the exoskeletons down so that the probiotics can actually go in there and dissolve the bad bacteria. And then the third product that I wanted to uh, recommend is the BioCleanse. And the BioCleanse is a wonderful product that helps oxygenate your blood. It helps... Um, so you, you're energized because of the oxygenation there. And it also, it's not a laxative. It cleanses and detoxes your system. So, like, if when you take the slim, you're not feeding the bad bacteria. So it's like a three-in-one system. And then you've got the probio that kills the bad bacteria and gets rid of it, all the triggers that are destroying your gut health. And then the BioCleanse sweeps everything clean. So it helps flush all the improvements impurities out, helps flush the, the glucose, the extra glucose out of your bloodstream as well. And so it's a very effective system and it, it restores people's health. It's, it's not that, I just want to put this out there, Plexus is not a cure for anything. The reason why it helps so much is because it gets rid of the triggers. It gets rid of the things that are attacking your body so that your body can actually work the way it's designed to work. And I, I just love it for those reasons because it, it really gets down to the root of issues, whereas a lot of other things, they just kind of manage symptoms. We're talking about um, getting rid of the bad things so that the body can, It's what's amazing is that our bodies are designed to eat a salad and receive the nutrients from that. But when we have 
candida overgrowth and mucosal linings and and bad bacteria and things like that and you know too much glucose running through our system we we need to take all these supplements and everything because we have to overcompensate because we're not getting the nutrients from our food. It's nice when you can sit down and eat a salad and feel it. I can feel my salad. Like 15 minutes after I eat that salad, I feel like energized from eating it because I can feel it absorbing into my system because my gut is clean and it's working the way that it should be. And that's important because... 80% of your immune system is in your gut. And so that that makes a big difference. So that's basically um, the the main um, part of what I wanted to share. And so I've been in remission for a year now, over a year, been able to dance and run and jump and play with my kids and live my life again, as well as my husband and my, my other children that have had serious health issues. We've got our lives back. So it's uh, a lot of people maybe tonight are sitting here thinking, well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to want to do that and, or take this thing or I don't know if I really believe these people. And I'm telling you that, that it really does work and it, God's using it to help his people to regain their health so that they can minister to people and feel well to take care of their families. There's just no time to lose. You really need to jump in this and get your body balanced because it's it's like when you have your health, you have everything. If you have, don't have your health, you feel like you're just barely surviving. So anyway, I appreciate you guys listening to me, and I don't know if anybody has any questions. Um, but, actually, um, thank you, Aaron. That was just awesome, and I and I like the way you said that. Um, you said something about trigger. Can you just say that again quickly about the trigger you said? Would you repeat that? Yeah, there's um, the plexus gets rid of the triggers. Triggers are the things that are attacking your system and throwing it out of balance whether that be high blood sugars are throwing your body out of balance or the bacteria or the yeast that are overgrown in your body, those things set your body out of balance, and that's why people are so sick. Okay. That's, why they're so, that's why the pharmaceutical company is making a killing mm-hmm. because they're killing people. <laughs> like people are killing themselves slowly by yes. just the stress, the diet, and you're when we're um when we have all these triggers it just it just tears our health down so that's what's great about plexus it brings your body back into balance and gets rid of the things that are attacking your system so i like that about it um what about in a situation we have a young gentleman here his name is ted and um okay. he has some- He's on some medications right now um, for some um, situations he has. So how would someone like him take the Triplex product and also be on medication? What would you suggest on how he should go about consulting with his doctor? Or um, we can't make any claims and diagnose, and we can't tell anybody to get off their medication. Um, no, and, and I never do. Yeah, but this is safe to I take for someone who's on medication? Yes, yes, it totally is. I know so many people still... They take their medications, and they, after they start feeling better, and they start feeling more energized, and they start feeling, they they listen to their body, and they start to slowly wean off of their medications, you know, and they make that decision based on how they feel. And some people do it with the help of their physician, and some people just, come to their physician later and say, well, I'm not, they're like, how come your numbers are so good? And then they say, well, I stopped taking all of these pills. And they're like, what? Okay, so the potential of, of getting off medication um, and being on, on, say, the triplex, um, there is a possibility, correct? Hello? Hello? There you are. Hello? Oh, oh yeah. there we are. They were asking me for a PIN number or something. Oh, so but no, people, you do it responsibly. You, you take it. You don't change your medications, but you have to 
listen to your body because you're going to need the medications less and less as your body heals. So it's a process, but it's well worth it. I, I, I know a lot of people that ended up, like, they were taking um, metformin. They're, um, and, you know, like with my daughter, with her, she's on Humalog, which is a, which is a form of insulin. She's down about 40% of what she was taking for her medication. And we're not, we're not going to be dumb about it. We're not going to just take her cold turkey off of it. She's probably never going to be off of her insulin because she's a type 1 diabetic. But I know quite a few type 2s that were able to um, get off of the, the pills that they took for the insulin because it, they didn't have a need for it anymore. You can tell by your blood sugar levels. Like, oh, okay, you know, my blood sugars are staying lower, so maybe I don't need as much of that, so let me talk to my doctor type of thing. Like, do, do you think my numbers are kind of low? Do you think we should get come down on that medication? That's how, how they did with my daughter. They're like, well, let's just watch this close, and we just keep coming down. So Awesome. awesome. Did anybody here have any questions? Ask Aaron on anything. Beth? <coughs> no? No, the only thing I did was if we, <coughs> if we did this night on this, yeah, we, we suggest not, not <coughs> if you're in a doctor's care, by all means, go to your doctor and, 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 and be rechecked. Um, I do have to say, and I don't know if Aaron can chime in on this, there are doctors that um, will either agree with you being on an alternative product or there are doctors that will say no. So I've learned, and I know Aaron knows this, that there's times you've got to take the health care into your own hands. So if there's something that's working for you that's not doctor quote approved, that doesn't mean that it's bad. <laughs> but I would. Right. You want some water, Ken? Give me some water. Um, but as for your hu your husband's case, I would obviously be under a, obviously under a doctor's care. The product is not going to hurt him, but obviously if you feel comfortable um, if you feel comfortable having doctor supervision, then by all means, do so. If he goes to the bar, still to the Indian clinic, okay. clinic, and then they check in every so often. Okay. Blood test and all that. Okay. And what does he have, may I ask? Type 2 diabetes. Okay. And so he's a type 2 diabetic, Aaron. And he's uh, mm, Yeah. The, 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 diabe the diabetes doctors, the endocrinologists, if you show them the list of ingredients, they, they should be smart enough to see that chromium is really good for controlling blood sugars. Um, when I showed both of my daughters, her team of doctors, they, were, they did not stop me from giving it to my daughter, even though she's a juvenile diabetic. And they were like, these are good ingredients. We stand behind this. It's helping your daughter. Keep doing what you're doing. So they were very excited about it and did not, like, tell us to stop taking it. So there's going to be doctors that just, they're real old school, and they're going to be like, no, um, just take our medicine, and that's that. But more and more doctors are jumping on board with this. I have a, a friend who lives in Maryland. He's, a, he's an MD, and he is actually giving it to his patients. Like, he's... Um, He's prescribing it. <laughs> like you can use your flex dollars or whatever to get it, and he's prescribing plexus for his patients so that they can, you know, their help with their insurance company and everything because he believes in it wholeheartedly. He lost, he lost a lot of of his visceral fat that he had, and he believes in it. All the ingredients and everything, and I've even done meetings with him and talked with him as very fascinating how he's researched it and how the body works and and he doesn't you know he he's losing his faith very quickly in the medical because <laughs> he's like you know we're just making people more sick he's like I'm when I give people antibiotics I'm destroying all that good bacteria he's like this is like replenishing it and this is healing people's guts and he said since he's been prescribing it his patients are getting off of some of their other medications. <laughs> like he gets them on an antibiotic and he starts them on the triplex. And then 
And then soon enough, he's like, oh, they don't need as much of their diabetic medication, and they don't need the blood pressure medication. So, so he's watching them closely, but he's pretty amazed at how well the people are doing on these products. Pretty cool. And and everybody's body is different. In in my mm-hmm. case, my my journey. Aaron knows a lot. What's going on with me? Mine just might take a little bit of a snore of a slower snail pace than someone who's experiencing. I got people that are that are part of our team that are experiencing results um, within the first week of being on Plexus. Well, I'm not oh. there yet. So everybody's body adjusts differently depending on how sick you've been or the stress. In my case, that I've been under the past four years. So um, the one thing I suggest that anybody that's on this product, whether you're a veteran like us or just starting out or considering it, be consistent with it. You can't take it for mm-hmm. one day or the next day and the third day just kind of forget and the fourth day by that time you're not taking it all. There has to be consistency just as if you were taking your medication in the morning and at night. When you take your medication from your doctor, they insist that you are consistent with it. So this is no different. This is just another alternative way of allowing your body to heal so that you're not dependent upon those medications and going into surgery and doing other things that are just not necessary. So consistency, what I've learned, is the key to be able to be healthy and strong and to deal with the issues that you've got going on within. Absolutely, absolutely. And you'll find that it's it's a pleasant thing to take in the morning when you wake up. I, I enjoy, we all, every one of my family is on it. So they they enjoy waking up and taking their slim and something to look forward to in the morning, you know, just to take that and you just feel really good all day. So it's it's my kids never forget it. You know, kids usually forget stuff, but they don't forget their plexus <laughs> because they feel so good. Awesome. And it's awesome. safe for kids. It's safe for. I mean, I've got people that give it to their infants. And they just sprinkle just a teeny bit out of the ProBio 5 into their breast milk and they feed it to them that way. But babies that have thrush, babies that have um, chronic diaper rashes and things like that and lots of gas problems and, you know, constipation, little babies are no different than us. I mean, sometimes their guts, um, you know, their intest, you know, their gut health is poor and they can sometimes get that in utero because their mother had poor gut health. So, I mean, it's it's very safe. I I know many pregnant women that love using it and gives them less heartburn. But, I mean, like all things, you want to consult with your health practitioner, but, you know, you you can just know that it's that natural that it's been very effective treating real wee little ones, too. <laughs> so, um clearing up their eczema and things like that. Awesome. Well, does anybody have any other questions regarding the health aspect of Plexus? Anybody online have any questions they want to ask Erin? Um, catch her while you can because she is a, a monkey running on all fours, if I can say that. She's a busy, busy young lady, um, and I, I so much appreciate her time this evening. In Tennessee right now, it's going on 10 o'clock, and she's an early bird. Oh, right. She's an early bird for bed and an early woman to rise. So, Thank um, you for the information. <laughs> Um, um, you are so welcome. I have a question. Yes. Um, this is Lisa in Hesperia, California. Um, have you ever found that that people have to to take more than the normal dose, say, of the probiotic or the other products to to get a result started? Not usually. Um, some people get into a detox phase, and I'll explain that a little bit because it's important because these products are so effective that you will go through some form of detox. Like some people experience a little bit of bloating or um, headaches or diarrhea like or a looser stool I should, it would be a better way to put it, a looser stool because it's not really like you're sick with diarrhea, but... And sometimes skin eruptions like canker sores or yeast infections or things like that, it kind of, because the candida is trying to get, it's pushing the candida out of your body. And a lot of times it'll, while you're killing it, it'll make your belly puff a little bit because it's the dead, you know, dying. So like anything that, that starts to die gives off gas. It's called a Herxheimer effect if you look it up. But if you look up detox symptoms, that's a really good, 
thing to study up on because you will be going through candida die off. And um, it's not as severe as I'm making it sound. Some people have it really mild. But when I start people off, like I did with Adriana, she was getting some pretty um, significant detox. So we just backed her off a little bit. It's like two two pro bio five in the evening before bed and then and then it's two bio cleanse in between breakfast and lunch and then another two between lunch and dinner with plenty of water. Like half your body weight in ounces of water you need to drink a day. And um when I notice that people are, you know, going through detox and it's uncomfortable for them, I'll tell them to take one pro bio five and two bio cleanse instead and then then we work our way back up to the the normal dosage so um like adri she has to take half of a dose and then like i take the full dose so i had to work myself up to that though i didn't start that way and when people are a little bit smaller like adriana and myself we we have to start off you know sometimes it's smart to start off on a half dose and then we work your way up and then if you feel like you've gotten a handle on things, then you can go back to taking just one uh, probio 5 just for maintenance. So if you're taking the full dose, you're going to be killing off bacteria. And then um, some people go up to the, as much as four probio 5 like, you know, people that have a significant candida overgrowth and they're bigger people, like heavier, they sometimes need to... There's no more than four, though. You never want to go over four. And then with the bio cleanse, you know, sometimes people have a hard time eliminating. So they'll start with four, and then they'll go up to five, and then they'll go up to six. And then they'll and then they'll come back down as their stool, as they start going. Then they'll, you just kind of have to listen to your body with this. And so I just tell people, take what you need to take for you to be regular but you don't want to be going all the time and you don't want to be constipated. So you kind of have to like add one or take one away. And and what's nice is that we have a really good support system. So as, as, um, as we work with people, what we do is we just, we talk with you often and answer your questions and kind of fine tune your program so that, you know, like if you tell us the right things, we know exactly what you need to do. We can tell you back off or take more or do it at this time instead of this time or drink water at this time. You know, there's lots of different ways that I've had enough experience now dealing with hundreds of people and helping them get better um, that I'm, I've been really good at helping people fine-tune the program. And it's been very What effective. about the, the slim? Is it okay to drink more than one of those a day? It it can it can be helpful for some people if say a person is you know heavier set person that's really wanting to like they had a severe sugar issue um, mm-hmm. it could be okay to do that for a month or two it's not ever going to hurt you to take it twice a day but it is it's more costly right one is definitely sufficient but some people want to. They, they want to kind of get after the problem a little bit more aggressive so that in, in with this type of a program, you can do that safely. You can do that and kind of hit your situation a little bit more aggressively, and then you can back back off and then take a more maintenance dose once you get things leveled off. Yeah, I just found that because I have a sugar addiction and especially sodas, it's I mean, I'll, I'll quit for a while, and then I'm back on them again, and I found the Slim kind of, if I drank it twice a day, it kind of kept me from wanting to go to the soda, you know. Oh, absolutely. It, it's definitely going to do that. It, it definitely takes down the cravings for sugar. And what a lot of that is insulin resistance. If you're, um, you know, stressed out a lot and things, your body ends up, becoming insulin resistant so it causes more cravings and it also gives you know you do more binge eating because you don't feel um full after you eat you feel hungry right after you're done eating so it's um it's it's a absolutely 
wonderful, wonderful all-natural product that helps people get their, thing, their health back into balance. So I'm really excited you guys got to hear about it because um, there's just absolutely no time to waste. People need to get their health in, in order because that improves the quality of your life and gives you more long, long, you know, longevity to life also is very important you know you want to enjoy your your family and and if you know some people you know when they're in retirement they want to enjoy that too they want to be able to enjoy their retirement instead of be sick all the time well we have uh, one more question here we'll take and then yeah we can go on to something that my husband wanted to share regarding the business opportunity with plexus um gina had a question about um degenerated disc and arthritis would, would plexus help with something like that? Yes. Um, actually, what's really amazing is one of my high school friends, she has this really rare disease. It's something with the spine where it fuses together, ankleo something, dystrophy, I don't know. It, well, there's, the there's, spine. Somebody here who can, there's someone here that knows about this. I'll have, she's a massage therapist. I'll have Beth say it out loud real quick. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what uh, that's what my friend has, and it's like they say it's an incurable disease, and there's a lot of pain associated with it. And she wasn't able to touch her toes or or do light cleaning around the house or anything. And after being on for two, she's been on Plexus for two and a half weeks. Her numbers, like her see her there's like a number that she went for labs her numbers are all coming down like the doctors are just like oh my god they're blown out of the water but she has no no pain she's able to touch her toes again and she's able to you know do housework all day through the house and you know um without a problem and so yes it does help with um it's a lot of it's um, directly related to your gut health. So um, a lot of inflammation and different things come from like a leaky gut progression. So when you get that under control, it generally um, takes the inflammation, the pain, and also autoimmune diseases too. Um, people with thyroidism, um, Graves disease, uh, lupus, I know like, a lot of people who su- have suffered from them that have been made symptom-free from taking the plexus over the course of like a year. Some people it takes a little longer, but it they're you know they they're able to wean off of medications and things because it's that effective. Because leaky gut leads to Graves' disease. It leads to diabetes. It leads to hyperthyroidism. It leads to fibromyalgia. Also, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, sinus issues, um, eczema, psoriasis, depression, ADHD. I mean, there's so many different things that can be linked to poor gut health. It's not even funny. So, yes, absolutely, hands down, yes, it can help with stuff like that. Awesome. Well, very good. I'm going to have my husband um, talk a little bit about... Oh, what? Oh, Erin, you need to go. It's almost 10 o'clock right now in Tennessee. You need to get yourself some sleep because she's up at 3.30 in the morning taking care of a little homestead in Tennessee. So I I want to let her go on off, and I'll have my husband continue on with the business good aspect night. of uh, Plexus. Erin, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ten times in a million over for your help this evening. And um, I will see you Oh, you're so welcome. I am so thankful I could share with you guys. And just before I part, I just want to let you all know, too, that on the financial side of it, just real quick financial testimonial, I was um, not into the business at all. Like, I was, I didn't want to be a part of network marketing at all. I was very much against stuff like that. But uh, my husband lovingly told me I was being selfish to not share my story. So I ended up starting to share my story with people like Adri and and just, you know, just friends, people who wondered why I was feeling so good. So I would tell them that this is 
what I had learned about leaky gut and about my pain and and so little little by little people were like, Well, I want in on that. I wanna take that and then they get better. Like I literally have testimonies from hundreds of people in my downline that, you know, they signed up this one and that one and and now like the Lord's really blessed us. We had no intention of making it a full time job or anything like that, but it's ended up being you know, we actually make enough to make a living at this point. And my husband's home full time, and we um, we just can't even thank God enough for the blessings because they have a, an amazing compensation plan. So Scott's going to be telling you more of the details on that, but it's it's so worth it. It's it's been the most win 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 situation that we've ever gotten into, and we've never felt like regret about it. We've never um, we we felt like the Lord has us do this right now because it really is ministering to people both financially and with people's health so it's it's a real blessing wow aren't you encouraged and excited i'm telling you i can hear this testimony over and over again and it just fills my heart i know from experience when i shared with Erin my story and hearing about hers the truth in this testimony. This is not fabricated by any means. It is truly a woman who's gone from death to life. I am so excited that healing has come upon her life and she just cannot but share the goodness of what Abba has done, our Heavenly Father, in healing her body with the simplicity of a product called Plexa Slim. So be encouraged knowing that your destiny, your journey into life, is meant to live with vitality and with purpose. Whether you are 49 years of age, 22, 10, or 99, you are meant to live this life to the fullest and with vitality and an abundance. That's how God created you. He created you to thrive and to live because we are to serve the kingdom. So um, I'm going to let that be if you have any questions about um, plexus slim you can contact me at 760-810-7771 or visit me at my website healingthroughout.com it's h-e-a-l-i-n-g-t-h-r-o-u-g-h-o-u-t.com healing throughout and you can click on the little pink circle that says gut health That'll take you right to my Plexus pages that discusses a little bit more in detail about Plexus Slim. Again, thank you for joining me this evening. I'm very excited. This was a phenomenal night. I thank you for my husband, Scott Bell of Worship and Word Radio, our other family ministry, for putting together all the buttons and knobs for technology to make this event work. Um, It was pretty amazing having a live class and an online class and people attending online. It just was really cool. So... I hope to do this again. If you have any questions again about Plexus Slim, please contact me. Again, the number is 760-810-7771 or visit me online at healingthroughout.com. Until then, blessings, shalom. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.